What's good people, we're back again with another NBA 2K dribbling tutorial and today I'm going to go over the control changes to dribbling in 2K21 so you can stop doing snatchbacks by accident, the new moves that have been put in place for us and when's the best time to pull all of these off. So alright, let's get it. First off, let's start with the basics. The first move I'm going to go over is the signature size up dribble. You do this so it's harder for the defender to guess where you're going through a series of dribbles. And when you hear size ups, who's one of the first people you think of? James Harden. And you often see him pop into his step back off a of size up dribble, which you can do by holding the right stick up. You can even start moving your ball handler forward with your size up to close the gap on the defender and read their reaction. You can move him sideways even, or backwards. And being able to move forward also means you can do it coming up the court. Next up is an in and out dribble being performed by Limmer Pepper Lou. And it's used as a misdirection. You want the defender to think you're about to cross over, forcing them to off balance or get them to freeze, but you're going the same way and end up getting by them. And to perform it in and out, you quickly flick the right stick up and to the side of your ball hand when you're standing still or on the move. While dribbling though, you have to make sure you're not holding turbo or you will perform a completely different move. Now for the hesitation dribble. And you can do this from a standstill position or on the move. You do it by flicking the right stick directly to the left or right of where the ball is. So ball is in your right hand, flick to the right. And if it's in your left, flick it to the left. And you can pair this with a lot of the moves I'll go over in this video. Durant is one of the more prominent players who use the hesitation. You often see him pull up a lot out of the hezzy as the defender freezes or is sliding back to guard the drop. Next up we got the momentum hezzy and you can do it by holding RT or R2 on your controller and flick the right stick directly left or right to your ball hand. Next is a hesitation escape and it attempts to give you space against the defender to shoot or drive if they're too close and it's done by holding the right stick in the direction the ball is in. Next is the crossover which has changed this year and it's probably the first move everybody has done in real life trying to imitate Allen Iverson. It works because it gets defenders thinking you're going one way then a quick crossover the other way gets you right by them while they're still picking up their ankles. This is the riskiest of all the dribble moves because you're dribbling the ball in front of you so you want to make sure you have room to switch hands and not get peeled. Now to perform this move you move the right stick up into your off ball hand side. Next is the momentum cross, which you do by holding RT or R2 and move the right stick up into your off ball hand side. And to perform a crossover escape dribble, you hold the right stick up into your off ball hand side to get separation from defenders moving laterally. Now we got the between the legs cross and its primary goal is to protect the ball better as you switch directions quickly as you use your body as a shield while sacrificing the benefit of eating up more space a crossover can give you. To perform it as I'm sure many have found out by accident this year when trying to cross people up, you move the right stick directly left or right to your off ball hand. A between the legs dribble actually works well with the crossover after to set up a defender. Now we got the momentum between the legs cross which you do by holding RT or R2 and flick the right stick directly to the left or right of your off ball hand. Use this as a way to bait defenders with pick and rolls into going where you want them. And for the between the legs escape, you hold the right stick to the left or right towards your off ball hand. A very popular move in 2K has been the behind the back dribble because it completely protects the ball from defenders in front of you while you cover as much ground as possible as it lunges you forward. The key is you want to be moving forward towards the hoop when you do it. And to do so, you want to flick the right stick down and towards your off ball hand. So if it's in your right hand, aim down and to the left. And if it's in your left hand, aim down and to the right. Also as a way to get past dudes who try to bum rush steal on you. So that's nice. Now to get the explosive behind the back, you aim the right stick down and towards your off ball hand. While also aiming the left stick up into your off ball hand at the same time. This is popular because you can do it from a standstill position and eat up as much space as possible. For the momentum behind the back, you hold RT or R2 and move the right stick down into your off ball hand side. 
This cheat move is done by holding the right stick down and towards your off ball hand side. If you're new to 2K, some version of the behind the back dribble has to be in your arsenal. Now to do the move I was accidentally doing trying to hit a behind the back when the game first dropped is done by holding the right stick straight down and it doesn't matter if you use turbo or not. This is most of the time used right as you cross the three point line to gain space on your defender as he flies by you so you can jack up an open three. Now momentum step back gets you out of trouble from defenders and gains you space to shoot or drive. And to do it you hold RT or R2 and move the right stick directly down while stationary. As for the spin move, this is a way to create daylight for yourself from defenders who cut off your initial move. This should help you spin off of them, freeing up space for a drive going the other way. You don't want to do this when the defender is already giving you room to drive, only when they cut you off. When Giannis and the Bucks tend to struggle, you often see his spin move getting shut down because defenders can predict when he's going to do it. And to perform the spin move, you rotate the right stick from your ball hand around the bottom of your controller to your off ball hand. Next is the half spin, and the purpose of this, much like the in and out, is to get defenders to respect the threat of you going the other way, either by overplaying it or freezing in place, opening up a drive into the lane. And to perform it, you rotate the right stick from your ball hand to the top of your stick and let go. And lastly, to perform a hard stop, you tap the left trigger while driving for a quick change of speed to quickly assess the situation and determine your next plan of attack. This can cause defenders to fly by you when they're not prepared for the sudden stop. Now to go over some moves that have been added to 2K recently. In NBA 2K21 is this nifty split dribble that you can pull off on the move by flicking the right stick down into the side of your off ball hand. And then as soon as you do that quickly, I mean quickly, flick the right stick up and he'll perform this new dribble move. It's going to be hard at first to master this as you're going to do a lot of snatchbacks or regular behind the backs by accident, but once you get it down, it's rewarding to pull off consistently. Guys like John Miranda performed this move in real life, but in 2K it's enough on its own to get defenders to freeze for a second. And it also can be paired together with some of the other moves I've went over. Now they've added some stuff with the spin move this year as you're now able to retreat instantly after a spin move by swigging the right stick from your ball hand around the bottom to your off ball hand while simultaneously pulling the left stick back and your player will retreat towards the three point line. This gets you a lot of easy jumpers while the user defender thinks you're driving into the paint. And another is swinging the right stick from your ball hand around the bottom to your off ball hand while continually move in the direction you were before you perform the move. I like doing this when I already have space on my defender and it keeps them from catching up. And lastly is a move that was introduced in 2K20, the Kyrie Carry, which you pull off by moving the right stick down into your off ball hand side and aim the left stick up into your ball hand side. If the ball is in your left hand, you want to aim the right stick down into the right and the left stick up into the left and vice versa so you will be essentially aiming the sticks away from each other. The changes to the dribbling and the new moves we are able to perform has made dribbling really fun in 2K21 and the best has been in years. But what do you guys think? What's the hardest move you're struggling to consistently do that you know really isn't that hard? Let me know in the comments down below. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K21 content. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris from Sports Gamers Online. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all.